Alright, what are we doing now? Done all the side quests. Um, hmm. Gonna head towards that. Come on! Jeez. Arthur Wing and Dr. King combine the two. Extreme Files extracts as a success. Earlier reports indicate that it is 13,000 times more concentrated than caffeine and water soluble. More importantly, it does survive the manufacturing process. So it suits our needs. There are a few anomalies, but nothing that won't come out in the wash, as they say. Then start talking about my race. Ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding. Just kidding. Camera is below me?
let's just look at the pros and cons. Cons, only 10 weeks to test a new product. It's an exact regulation. Maybe we get a slap on the wrist from the FDA. Pros, we beat everyone in the market. Be the first to revolutionize the drink industry with extremophiles. Solidify Fizco's legacy and make more money than a brothel at computer camp. I know which way I'm leaning. Brothel. <laughs>
Alto would be proud of you. Stun rounds, moving menace. Shock therapy and then mine on mine. Careful out there. Happy hunting. If you find anything good, send a commission to Two Hat Jack. <coughs> Full of secret crap. Mm. Now, everything on that map is guaranteed to be fairly accurate. Rings. 
significantly better than before, but... Shit, did I miss the second one? One more down, okay. Yeah. 
has very discriminating tastes, so you gotta do exactly as I say. Jump high and cut him down! Okay. Looked like there was a truck nearby that way. Because it doesn't seem like it is, according to all those red dots. 
Or is that a different area? Oh, they're on top of the highway. That must be scabs then. Okay, never mind. So I haven't even done that one yet. Or that one, okay. Isn't that one? That one? Yeah. Definitely say that's closer. fucked up and I still made it, so I'm going to do it again because I know I can do better.
again. I think I can do better. I'm gonna try. And then fuck up at the end, of course. Yes. I will lose my progress, in fact. I don't know how much better that was, but... <sighs> Alright, so it looks like I've done all of those. Yes. 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 Wait, there's a survivor over there. Survivor needs assistance! I don't think I'm gonna make it in time, but I'm trying. Oh Alright, buddy. I get out of here before they come and catch you. I'm not, I'm not even gonna look at where he is, because... If they come and kill him immediately after, as they have so many times, like a fucking comet. This truck again? Jeez, you guys don't know when to leave well enough alone, do you?
There you are, you son of a bitch. I know where the other balloon is. There it is. Sure thing, buddy. Thanks for the loot. Get the fuck out of here before they catch you again. They have a habit of doing that, you know. Hmm. Well, that's right here, so I'll just grab that. Ah, thrifty sushi.
trying to figure out where the fuck that camera is. Says it's slightly below me. Looking underscore merchant said, Hey there, how's it going? Way. How is it going? I was gonna say, it's not morning for me, but no, no, technically, it became morning a half an hour ago. missed it. I missed it. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see what I can pull off. Time for some special deliveries. Pulled off like a nasty band-aid. could have been done more smoothly. I may need to do that again. I'm definitely going to need to do that again. Um, everybody's on a list. Sometimes it's just, you know, a supermarket preferred customer, but everybody's got one.
That's better, but... Enough for me. Let's, oh, we have a survivor down there. Okay, let's save the day. Wow. I almost feel bad for them now. I think it would have been, uh, hard to pull off a more badass entrance than that. Alright sir, you get away while I continue to mow them down. I'm so glad I put the freeze upgrade on this thing, like, it makes it so much easier to take down the muggers. Because once they get frozen, you just do a ground pound next to them and they're toast. And if you manage to get off some shots or in the middle of a bunch of other OD, then there's a good chance one of them will set off a burst and freeze them. Even if you're just shooting directly at them, it's it's very fairly uh, decent odds that'll that'll occur. I think as far as uh, weapon choices go, that has been my no, go away. Actually, no, let's turn around, try and get the stuff at that intersection. We've got shoes, camera. Oh, I see the shoes. Okay, that's, that's easy. That's cool. I hate the muggers the most. They may not have the same level of durability as, say, the Herker, but the amount of just raw punishment they can dish out and the fact that they keep bouncing around all the time, it's almost like trying to fight another player, you know? But if I can lock those suckers in place and hit them with a bop bop, then... Looking under formation. Yeah, they can be a little rough.
Ah, money truck. At this point, I don't have a reason to really have money anymore. I guess if I want to buy some accessories, if I want to, if I want to try and look stylish. But most of the stuff that I want, I already have. Shoes. Okay, all the way up there. Plus a neon sign. Room four. Yes, it is. Okay. It's right there. Cool. I'm ready to make these rings my bitch. Oh, I was supposed to go over the edge. Fuck. smoke once I clear this challenge. And a refill. That should do it. And I saw some TP on the bridge, so I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Before I forget. Whoa! That is not what I was trying to do, but that's okay.
Alright, this seems like a nice enough spot. I say as the Ogi come running in. Alright. We'll just bugger on off to the next rooftop and then hit escape. My um, my overcharge up so I can get the uh, locations of those smartphones because like it would be nice to 100% the game. Um, I'm gonna do all the challenges. If I really feel like it, I'm gonna get like all the items on the map, but. Uh, the smartphones definitely because it's, it's interesting to be uncovering the uh, like where everything actually started so anyway I will be back in a few minutes
Perpikini I said hi. Hey there, Purple Kemi. How goes it? Oh. How are you doing? It's been a little while. Not too long, but it's been a while. Where's I going next? No, I don't need that one anymore. I just did that one. I said, "Dear, this evil." Oh, barely. I've just, I've just got a little fuzz on me. I haven't shaved for about a week. This is Sunset Overdrive. Um, I've completed the main game. I'm just going around finishing up challenges, item collection. It's a... Um, well... A punk skater... Hardcore parkour. Parkour parkour, yeah. Yeah, basically. Has has uh, elements reminiscent of, of skater games, uh, but more realistic as parkour. 
based around uh, traversal and combat simultaneously, if that weren't obvious. And I have been absolutely in love with it. Quarantine has been fine for me. Um, it's been uh, it's been pretty smooth. Um, Don't, uh, we haven't had much problems. Nice. I still go to work. Just what hands a lot. Wash your hands, wear a face mask, you know, wear gloves. Um, Barely. Let me try that again. Um, I don't want to call myself a doomsday prepper, but I do keep. Uh... I said, and our CEO announced we will all be getting a bonus. So I am happy. That's for good. That. That's good. Might get that game I really want. Somebody actually taking care of their employees. That's nice. That's nice. Um, I don't want to call myself a doomsday prepper, but. Uh, I keep a certain amount of supplies on hand, um, California, because, uh, you know, it's always been a thing for earthquakes. I was always, you know, I grew up hearing you should have two weeks worth of supplies, food, water, batteries. Um, so yeah, I've always had that on hand. We have, you know, over 24 gallons of water, plenty of canned food, dried goods, two freezers full of food. Um, we order toilet paper online, and we got a big box in before, uh, right before all this happened. So, you know, uh, every once in a while we'll go to the supermarket and, like, you know, they won't have something we want. Biggest issue's been milk. But that's about it. Like, oh no, bread. There was one point we wanted bread and they didn't have any. But, uh, nothing that's a, a real serious issue. My girlfriend's working from home, which she loves. Um, and me, I haven't, you know, I've been scaling back my business anyway, so no big deal. Um, everything has been, it's been pretty easy, honestly. Perfectly me, I said, good for here. We can't go out to get, uh, to get dinner if we want for anything special. That's been about it. <laughs>
How did I get less than last time? I felt like I was doing better that time around. There we go. I'm working on um I'm working on building a uh, a custom mask. Um I know plenty of people are going and making like fabric masks, which are okay, they help, but um, they don't have the same level of filtration or uh, um, protection. They don't seal the way that like a proper N95 mask does. So I'm working on building something that uses uh, ABS piping um, 
and uh, some molded silicone to uh, essentially make it to where I can tie it around my head and it'll almost look like a gas mask come about this far. That'll have uh, some fabric in the middle. Basically it's designed where you can unscrew it and then take cutouts and put them in, screw it back together and it'll compress it flat. And uh, when everything's said and done, it should be something that doesn't allow any airflow in or out unless it's going through the filter. And the interesting thing about an N95 mask is the material it's made out of allows easy uh, airflow while catching all the shit that goes through it. Um, I played around with a few different things and I found out a ShamWow actually has a very similar structure and breathability. So um, I'm going to take one of those. I'm going to cut a couple of circles out of it so it's going to be two layers of that on top of each other in between the uh, grates. And um, that should do it. I've taken way too long to get this thing done, but it costs a lot. It costs me like almost 60 bucks to get everything for it. But once everything's said and done, I'm hoping it'll help some people. I mean, me, obviously, but... Well, there's a survivor. Oh, they're in a cage. <laughs> she got a little displaced there. That's fine. But yeah, I always felt like normal surgical masks one health much. Not that wearing them is a waste. But I feel the virus could still infect someone who is a mask. Yeah, um, so they'll help. They'll always help, but they aren't enough to stop it. The N95s, the things that you see for like, um, you know, or rebreathers things they use when they're like, you know, painting or working with hazardous chemicals, those will get the job done because they actually have an airtight seal. As long as you don't have, you know, facial hair. Um, where are those shoes? Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Um, I figure out where the fuck those shoes are. Okay, it says higher. Um, I mean, I, I have a pretty, I, I have a pretty, uh, hearty immune system. Um, I've had pneumonia several times, and every time I've got through it without medical intervention. So I think that even if I did catch COVID, I would probably be fine. I'm more concerned about, oh, there they are. more concerned about uh, other people, those who are vulnerable. Um, seriously, where the shit is the can- oh, it's below me? There it is. Bonk. Sometimes I wonder if I've already had it back in January when I got sick of the major store growth. Looking under the mental yeah, I'm in the same place. I have a great opinion that I take care of my 85-year-old grandpa. 
if he catches it because I've been trying to get dead. Perfectly alive. Said. Back after it. if I already had it back in January when I got sick with major sore throat. Uh, probably not then. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it didn't officially reach the U.S. until March or late, late February. Uh, there still is an off chance you could have caught it. However, um, the uh, uh, virus does not affect your sinuses. Other than, like, it, it might mess with sense of taste and sense of smell. But your actual sinuses, you won't get a runny nose. You won't get congestion. And it doesn't affect your upper throat. If you get a scratchy throat, that tickle in the back of your throat, or a sore throat, that isn't it. It's it's deep chest. It's like bronchitis. It sits down, and it isn't. Perfectly me, I said. It isn't the scratchy oh. throat, because I got concerned at one point, like I was going. I don't think I've been exposed to it, but I have symptoms that are really similar to allergies with my sinuses. But I am getting a little bit of a tickle in my throat, which could still be allergies, or I managed to catch something, and then I looked it up, and that's that's when I found out like no like you run a fever uh, you might have body aches uh, you get a dry cough which Looking is underscore medicine. said yeah the sense of smell and taste loss is definitely the thing that was confirmed researchers are concerned about a neurological component yeah perfectly me I said at can underscore medicine hope he stays safe yeah, and that's that's one of the things that's weird is, like, they've had a bunch of other symptoms that don't make sense. Like, uh, some people will get irritable bowels. Like, only 1-2% to of people do. And some of them, that is their only symptom. Um, oh, fatigue. Fatigue is another common one. Uh, run a fever, fatigue, dry cough. Um, there are a bunch of ways this is affecting people that varies greatly. And, um, I don't know. It's weird right now. It is. It's weird. Okay, let's get those shoes. I just hope, I just hope somebody who's tested positive doesn't end up being an addict who does flaca because then you'll have a zombie panic on the, on our hands. Ooh, ooh. Look and understand. Said the most concerning part is the fact that people are seeming to be doing better and those recovering something around 30 percent of those recovered last I read have permanent lung damage. Most concerning part. Uh, well, getting reinfected is not uncommon. It's an RNA virus, which means it's like the flu or the cold, so it mutates as it spreads. So if, like, you get infected and you pass it to your significant other, it only changes the virus slightly, so you can't get reinfected from them. But then if they infect somebody and it does five more jumps, and then you get exposed to that person, then you can get reinfected. Something like that. Um... Five is short, but if you're in a large enough population base, then the same thing as the seasonal flu, it can traverse fast enough that people end up catching it again. Um, and the thing with permanent lung damage, yeah, that can be a side effect of pneumonia. <clears throat> it's... Um, uh, it usually has to deal with, like, when they're trying to cough stuff up, they can tear their lung tissue. Uh, there was one case of pneumonia I had. I was coughing so hard I did cough up some blood, but it only happened once. It was only a little bit, so it's like mm, I ruptured some, uh, you know, bronchi, bronchi, Bro whatever they are. Um, but it was nothing for me to like really get concerned about. But some of these people, they're just really struggling so hard to breathe. They're they're tearing their lung tissue and then it gets scarred over and then there's nothing they can do. Although, I mean, they say permanent, but, I mean, you have smokers that have had scar tissue that recover. You have other people that, like, it may be long-term damage. Whether or not it's permanent can vary to a certain extent based on the person and their genetic makeup, simply put. 
Give me just one moment here, sorry. Need to get a little bit of uh, airflow going through here. Um. Perfect, Amy. I said this is making me nervous. I'm I'm sorry. We can we can avoid the discussion if it's bothering you. Um. Look and understand that said, I could see where that's the case. I just hope they figure this crap out soon. The amount of delivery and orders five seen lately has been absolutely insane. We had a line of tickets from the tag machine to the floor and then stretching like for feet across the floor. What was it? There was something else I saw that I wanted to grab while I was here. Um... If we have perfectly I said well it's reality I just don't know what I'll do if I or someone I know get fit other than staying home obviously I mean there's a few things you can try um, you know the best thing is take good care of yourself you know get immediate medical attention if you're actually having problems breathing because that's one of the big things, is people will find themselves in a position where it's like, yeah, they need a ventilator, but then they just, they, they think they'll try and tough it out, and it may not work out that well. And bear in mind, like, it's it's scary, but um, the people who, who um, suffer the, the biggest side effects of it are... are exceptionally rare if they're not already uh, elderly or immunocompromised. It's, um... You hear about it in the news because, you know, it... It, it creates buzz. It, it, uh... You know, it generates views and clicks and everything else. But, um... Those sorts of issues are, are rare. More risk hubbies over fatality. Yeah. Um. They said that. They said that globally it has about a 2% kill rate. Now. I started running the numbers and looking at like. It. Look and understand. Said. The government's response, quite honestly, is more frightening than the virus itself. We could be in the same position as South Korea if we were vigilant. Yeah, we could. We could. And that's the thing that's really disheartening. Um, you know, and I don't wish anybody harm, but, you know, for all those, uh, those people that want to be rebellious and be like, oh, well, you can't tell us what to do. Absolutely. If something happens to them, I don't really feel bad because they were told exactly what should be done and they decide to refuse it and brought it on themselves. I mean, that doesn't help anybody that they spread it to. But there's already been reports of, uh, like, there was this one woman who was saying it's a hoax. Um, that it was to undermine Trump. And then this one pastor who, you know, said that, uh, um, you know, it's, it's an act of God of, uh, against the unworthy and... Both of them have died since then, and like I said, I, I I don't want anything awful to happen to somebody, but man, with some of what's going on, I really don't feel bad because they they were literally told don't do the thing, and then they did the thing, saying we don't believe you. Like, ah, uh, but the government especially, like, yeah, this this could have really been put on hold. 
I have people I deliver to who scoff at me because I have to wear a mask and I'm not allowed to directly contact them in any way. No passing the order. No handling their money. Maintain distance. Well then, you know, you that's all you have to do is say it's company policy. I don't have a choice in this. My work is making me do this. And whenever you say that, you know, they'll just kind of roll their eyes and go, okay. Um, that's been one of the honestly... Look and underscore mescent. Said... A customer was literally gonna try to fight me because I've set his food on the delivery bag on the ground by his door as protocol dictates. That sucks. That sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's... that's stupid. And some of these people, they're just... Listen, underscore mescent. Said... Say it isn't your fault. People are just so dumb. Yeah, yeah. But again, like something happens to somebody, I if it's because of their own ignorance or or negligence or whatever. If 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 it's because of their own stupid, I I really can't feel bad about the situation. I can't because you know you have so many people out there. Like I I've already talked to a couple of people and you know it. When, when I do wear a fabric mask, it's like one person said, What? Are, are you sick? And I went, Dude, it's not about me being sick. It's about making sure that I don't pass it to anybody else if I'm asymptomatic. You know, this elderly person wanting to be a hard ass. And that's part of it, too. I mean, like, some of these, these elderly individuals. I don't know if you saw the article by, um... Oh, what's his face? I said, Stupid people. He's, um, he's, um, uh, he writes articles for a newspaper in the UK and he's like 80 something, I think. <coughs> um, and the title of the article was, I survived rationing. I'm not afraid of the coronavirus. And, um, he basically mocked the entire situation and basically ended the article with saying, well, it's just young people trying to scare us. And the thing is, you have a lot of older individuals who um, have gone through uh, so many points in their life where they've either been provided for or untouched, whether you look at like points of economic growth, hardship that they may not have had to directly deal with, depending upon like who they were. I don't want to, you know, be, be too judgmental there. Um... And then finally, you know, who've lived on retirement while the rest of the world is struggling, they they feel like they're untouchable, and now they're having to face the fact that they're old, and this is something that could kill them, and they don't want to accept that, so they just go, eh, it, won't, it, it won't affect me. Look at the success story of this like ninety-five year old woman who you know lived through it. Yeah, but like that that's the minority, you know. Just you you, you can't get through through on on you know. Uh, Prayers, duct tape, and bubble gum. Uh, as a friend of mine once said, you know, hope in one hand, shit in the other, and see which fills up first. If real cities had rings like this, real cities would be much more interesting. Looking under the American, said, I know sometimes I can't be a terrible person, and this is one of those times I find it absolutely scary in a dark, cynical way that the people most at risk are the wrong supporters, tumors, that unhealthy, bad, yeah, dumb people. No, shit. I hate this stupid thing. You know, sometimes I can be a terrible person. This is one of those times I find absolutely hilarious in a dark, cynical way. People most at risk are Trump supporters. Yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. I said some customers at my job have been stealing our toilet paper from the public restroom. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. Um... Last I heard, they hadn't officially closed down movie theaters here, and I wouldn't be surprised if people would be paying to get in to see a movie just to go to the bathroom and run off with the teepee. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Lacan, uh, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. And again, it's like, you know, it sucks. I don't want to see anybody hurt. I don't want to see anybody die. It's, it's improper to wish that on anyone, but when it's by their own stupid acts, I, I don't. 
I don't feel bad about it. I really don't. And, um, you know, if, if this cleans up some of the idiots, then they did it to themselves, you know? Call it, uh, call it, call it Darwinian Looking selection if you want. Said, yeah, Darwin Award winners, the log of them. The one good thing that seems to be coming out of this is the environment. Even a bunch of the climate deniers are recognizing that, like, hey, it's been only, what, three, four, five months that, you know, things have slowed down and already, like, the climate is just completely reorganizing itself. No! Right off the bat, I miss the, the hoop. Trying to use this stupid hamster ball is just awful. I said, Daniel 288Y, A Y. Look and underscore mason said. Also, some older folks are realizing how much Trump doesn't care about them for their health. My grandpa is a hardcore GOP, and even he no longer trusts Trump. Yeah, I have a friend whose parents were big time Trump supporters, and now they're like, ah, you know, maybe on second thought. Uh, make sure you look into whether or not your state supports write-in candidates, because some of them do not. Um, I didn't realize that. I thought it was universal. Like, if you wrote in a candidate, then, like, the vote got counted for that, but some of them don't. Okay, cool, cool. No, don't bounce. I just want to go through the hoop. Hey, two head jack here. You got overcharge? I got Look stuff. Under you want. Fine. Said, I really, really wanted them to not get screwed. I was heartbroken when he dropped out. Look under Nathan. No! I think they should have stuck him, just in case Woody got confused and wandered into traffic. Yeah, yeah, right? I watch very sad. I need to look at, at uh, who the libertarian candidates are because the last one, Johnson, I really liked him, and if he's back, then that's 100%. Um. I need to look in the, into the laws on my state, too, but, I mean... Damn it! Why do I keep doing that? Oh! So frustrating! Um... Like, I don't like Trump. I... 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 I 
when he first got into office, I said it's going to be one of two things. Either he's going to manage to set everything right, or he's going to burn it all to the ground, and everybody's going to reevaluate the political system and, you know, what they want to, for crying out loud, how they're going to handle it. But Biden, there's so much with him. I don't like, I do not like the guy. Come on! I mean, when I heard Bernie was dropping out, I read up on Biden. It's like, what are his policies? And it's like, no, he's not a good guy. There's, like, no way to do this unless I do it perfect. Burned out on this challenge. I'm gonna. My skills to get rewards. Ah, nice compulsion. If I get burned out on this, I'm gonna take a smoke break and then move on to another challenge because I don't want to be doing this all night. I do want to clear all challenges eventually, but if I get just too frustrated with this, then it's not. I won't be able to do it. Yeah, these kinds of challenges drive me nuts. Superman 64 star me. Most of the traversal ones I don't have problems with, but this stupid hamster ball. Especially because, like, the way they have that set up. If you don't hit it just right, you nick off the corner of that building and then then your run is fucked. Okay, that'll do. Nope. Like the first Ori game, and I am looking forward to that one. Look and underscore said, "Oh man, that's luck." I'm I'm waiting until it goes on sale, though. Okay, two more tries after this. One more try after this. OK, 
Okay, I take that back. One more try after this. That one was so awful, I'm gonna give it another shot. Getting pinned under the railing is just stupid. I think I have it figured out. I take it back. I'm gonna give it a few more. Oh, I didn't want to cancel. Look and underscore mercant. Said. Hug so close. Perfectly new eye. Said. That's what I was thinking of doing. But it's such a new thing. How long will the trail be on its way? Um. Like, I want to play it, but I'm not dying to play it. So I don't mind if I have to wait for a while. There are some that, like, I won't right off the bat. Like when Borderlands 3 finally hit Steam. Dude, I had it ready to go the first... Ah, I fucked that one up. I was busy talking, not paying attention. I had that ready to go right off the bat. I mean, it did help that it was like 50% off the launch, you know. But um, if it's something I want bad enough, I'll get it. I was actually considering getting Final Fantasy 7. I want it badly, lol. Uh... I was considering getting Final Fantasy VII, but I have so many games in my library already that I want to finish. I went, ah, I can wait a bit. It doesn't matter. I didn't buy DL3 because I am still annoyed they put it on Epic at an exclusive burden. And I'm strongly considering getting a DL for Pro just for XF7 art. I've been waiting for that half my life. <sighs> that score is good enough for now. At least I have a Looking better handle on the technique. Said, I eat ee brax. Uh, BL3 I did not get on Epic. I bought it on Steam. There was no way I was going to pay Epic for doing their fucking gatekeeping bullshit. Which, um, you know, certain publishers, they've offered money to do an exclusive. But because Borderlands 3 runs on the Unreal Engine, which is owned by Epic, uh, there are several other games that have become exclusives on there for a while. And it's suspected that Epic is actually kind of like using their contract to twist the arm of the developers to release it there first. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I wanted Borderlands 3. I was not going to, to buy it on Epic. I waited until, until it hit Steam and then, uh, and then I grabbed it. Um, which again, like at launch, it was 50% off. So decent enough. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Um, yeah, I've been excited for that. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to like it. Because when I played like Final Fantasy XII, the battle system was changed up too much. I didn't care for it. I don't want it to be like that, but I've heard it's more like Kingdom Hearts than it is twelve, So that I can, I can manage. We'll see. We'll see. Um, underscore Mercant said, It's sort of the same thing with GTA V. I was so annoyed about what they did to Mother... Yeah, no, it's it's bullshit, but we'll figure it out. My my biggest conundrum here is I have a friend, Havoc, who plays PS4. He doesn't really have a banging gaming PC. And uh, we really want to play Borderlands 3 together. And... Look and underscore Mercant said, And from what I can't tell, FFXB's battle system was very much the prototype for FF7R and KH3. Well, if that's the case, then that'll be fine. I'm just I'm just apprehensive of bad experiences I've had before, but I like Final Fantasy VII, so I'm willing to give it a shot. But 
I wasn't willing to drop the money on it when I... Like, I literally have so many other games I need to mill through and ones that I want to play. Like, I've been waiting for this one for so long. I'm gonna do these first. Like, my game library is 700. No, 6-something. Um, it's just insanely huge. I, I... As much as I like Final Fantasy VII, the thing is, one, it's not the full game. It's just part one of the remake. And two... I I already know the story. I've already played most of it. As much as I want to check it out, I'm not super excited for it. Now, if I play part one and I really like it, then I'm going to be losing my shit waiting for part two. But right now, I'm in this quasi-wishy-washy, you know, I don't know how I feel yet. So, we'll see. Um, I have, I, I said, I have never played the FF Gambi. Well, this might Look be an opportunity. <laughs> said, see, while I know the story, I'm also aware they really flesh out Midgar and added a lot more stuff. I know, I know. And that's cool, but it's Look not enough to draw me in. Said, like, I think Jesse has a bigger part in the pit plot now. Yeah, and I know they're going to bring up the war with Wuhan a lot more. It was briefly mentioned, you know, in the original, they're going to make this a full thing. Um, so that's cool. But, um, yeah, Purple Kemi, if you've never played one, this will be an opportunity. Uh, Seven has been my favorite. I love the story. I love the system. Originally, it was all turn-based combat. Um, but this is more action-based now, obviously. Um, you know, don't, no, no, no reason to go out and, like, bust your back to try and get it if you're not a fan but depending upon how this goes it might it might be a good intro it might be a good intro <sighs> anyway i am going to get a refill and grab a smoke so i'll be back in a few minutes look and underscore mason said or check out ffxb royal edition at perplucking the eye it's a pretty good starting point your new folks um while I'm up, tell me, Lacan, is uh, Royal Edition... Because, like, I bought Final Fantasy XV when it was on sale. Um, and... It was... Uh, I don't know if I got the Royal Edition or not. I got it on Steam, though. Um, I had somebody told me... I had somebody tell me, I don't remember who... Like, don't bother if it's not the Royal Edition. It's not worth it. I don't know which one I got. Um, I don't know if the Royal Edition just includes the DLC or if I can purchase that separate. If you have any insight on that, let me uh, let me know, please. Look and underscore Mason said, the Royal Edition adds about three hours of additional cutscenes to flesh out the story. Which is the most important thing? Look and underscore Mescent said, and like an additional area at the end, for the same reasons. Purple Kimi I 
said. Why is XV a good starting point? Isn't that the most latest version? Why not an earlier game lol? I mean I don't if the stories are connected or anything. Look and underscore mescent. Said. They're absolutely not connected. Each Final Fantasy game has its own standalone universe and characters. Even the metaphysics of each world are different in a lot of cases. Perfect I said. So I see. Well, that's probably a good thing, cause that would be a lot of games to cover. Look and underscore mescent. Said. Like in Final Fantasy VII, magic could only be used by infusing your weapons and armor with gems called materia that granted you those abilities. In other Final Fantasy games magic simply comes naturally to some people. In yet other Final Fantasy games magical abilities are incredibly rare and that itself makes certain characters special. Look and underscore mescent. Said. XB is the most modern FF game and so that tends to appeal to newcomers more than the older, turn-based Final Fantasy games that tend to more audiences who aren't used to more archaic combat systems. Perfect me I said. I will check it out. Thanks for all the info.
Okay, let's see here. About three hours of additional cutscenes. Thing like initial area at the end for the same reasons. Look and underscore medicine. Send all universe. Yeah. No problem. And for what it's worth, XV is only thirty-five dollars on Steam at the moment, and the Steam version appears to be equivalent to the Royal Edition. Some magic can only be used by infusing your weapon's armor. Sometimes the game magically simply comes naturally. Abilities, yeah. Fifteen is the most modern. Mm -hmm. And yeah, a lot of people have uh, issues with the uh, turn-based combat in the classic Final Fantasy games. <laughs> Oh, the Steam is the Royal Edition. Awesome. That's good to know. That is good to know. Um, there are some Final Fantasy games that are interconnected, like you have Final Fantasy X and X-2. It isn't 12, it's literally one of the few sequels they have. I said, I do remember all the hype surrounding it when it dropped all. I just was never familiar with the franchise. Final Fantasy, everything is a standalone installment. It's like a Terry Pratchett novel. Um, some of them have do, do have certain connecting elements, but... No! Fuck! Looking under for measure. Said, XB will always hold a special place in my heart. Few stories impacted me the way it did. I was crying off and on for a week because of the ending. It's a beautiful story told poorly, but if you can overlook the storytelling, it's great. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Uh, Seven was my favorite for, well, Seven has been like one of my top games overall for ages. Perfect, I said. So it's kind of like Zelda, in a way. You don't have to play them all, but they share similar stuff. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. Yeah. Look and underscore medicine. Seven. Exactly. This is just difficult because it's hard to tell where all the fucking TVs are. There's also some FF games that are set in the same world for thousands of years apart, and that still have little to do with one another's fault. Oh, 
fucked it up. Um. Look and underscore mercent said, "This is the case with Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy XII, from my understanding." Tactics, I don't know, but I know Final Fantasy XII and Tactics Advanced. They are not ages apart. They're close, but they really only have a few things like some characters in common. Um, so again, it's like, if you know that character, you go, oh, hey, I recognize him. Other than that, it doesn't matter. Look at underscore Mercent. Said, 12 is also set in Iris. Oh, it is. Okay. not going to happen until I get all of them. There's no way unless I get all of them. I fucked that up. Let's try again. Um, I just can't remember if 12 is set. Perfect. I said, while my only knowledge of FF is Cloud, <laughs> cause he's in Smash Hell You. Well, Cloud is the protagonist, or the central protagonist, from uh, Final Fantasy VII. And I believe the timeline you're talking about is going to be tactics, then a long jump to 12. And then from 12, um, uh, like, decade or two to tactics advance. <coughs> because the, the guy in 12 who's like the pirate that uses a gun, he's also in tactics advance. <laughs> so that can't be too far apart because he's, you know, still around. Did you say he can God damn it. Sorry, protagonist. No, one of the central Look protagonists in seven. Said, long silver hair with a black trench coat and katana, eight feet long. Lol. Yeah, Sephiroth is one of those villains that is regarded as, at least to me, one of the best of all time, because he actually starts off as kind of a, a hero of the people in a way, um, but then through certain events. Um, he doesn't lose his mind. He 
Uh, I don't know. It's it's kind of like a cross between losing his mind and an awakening, which makes him um, want to turn and uh, destroy the world. And part of him is is uh, being just like a mean motherfucker, but it's more than that. He's there's purpose behind it too. Like he's just absolutely cold-hearted in his goal, and it's not a good one. You have certain other. Uh, I've done that one. I have not done that one. Okay. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Um, he is an absolute threat. He is terrifying because of his strength and power. Uh, he's unrelenting what he does, and he's he's unremorseful in his actions. Um, because. Every time he does something awful, he just kind of shrugs his shoulders and goes, Nah, it's what I gotta do to get shit done. Um, he isn't, he isn't like, uh, some villains who just are, like, twirl the mustache and, like, I'm evil because I like being evil. No, he just, he's cold as fucking dry ice. Um... Where's the sneakers? There they are. Oh, and a sign, too. How handy. Okay. I guess as far as villains go, you could you could uh, equate Sephiroth to almost the Darth Vader of RPGs. Look and understand. Sir, any villain I feel is more badass than Sephiroth is I do. Really feels wrong. Id, who's Id? That sounds familiar, but I can't put a... Ah, no! Look and understand anything. Seb. Tidy destroys entire civilizations with his bare hands. I can't put a face to him, though. Look and understand anything. Oh, Xenogears! Okay, I haven't played that yet, so that, that explains it. I want to play it. Um, I never had a, a Wii U, so I didn't have a reason to. But I've heard really good things from uh, RX Gaming. Okay, that's the challenge in this. Um, just a couple of taps on the glider and you're fucked. Got it. It isn't about speed, it's about survivability. Cool. Um, but they're supposed to be coming out with a, a uh, re-release on Switch. So when that happens, I plan to play both Xenogears 1 and 2. Look and understand anything. Seb, each character can put in a set of inputs. And different inputs give you different combo, almost like a turn-based fighting game. Oh, okay. So it's uh, kind of like a, a Legend of Dragoon type thing then.
Which, that is an awesome game I need to actually go and beat at some point. Oh no, no, I'm thinking, oh fuck, wrong game, wrong game. I'm, I'm thinking, um... Oh no, Xenogears was PlayStation, wasn't it? Um, I was thinking, uh... Xenogears was a butt there away from becoming the story for FF7 instead. Yeah, no, um... Perfectly, I said the last mayo that crash. <sighs> Sorry, it's not. Uh, I was thinking about the other one, the one that has um, Shulk in Smash. Um, I, I got confused. Zeno Gears, also one I still need to play. Yeah, no, it was Chronicles that I was thinking of. Yeah, no, I was thinking of, of Xeno Chronicles. Uh, no, Xeno Gears. Again, that's another one I, I really need to play. <coughs> no, not at all, not at all. Please do. Please do. Where the fuck is that? Oh, both of them. Okay. I see you, asshole. HTTPS stolen slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark beautiful city to see DT BBE look and underscore measure said that's an example of a combat system look and underscore measure said it makes me so sad no other RPG has used something Um, on a similar note, though, if you have never played Legend of Dragoon, give it a shot. Like, that is something that I really need to finish. Uh, I had one of the original copies of it. I lent it to somebody, and one of the discs got destroyed, which is a shame, because I found out that was worth a lot of money! And then, um... And then, um... And then I got one of the uh, Game of the Year editions, which is not worth as much. But hey, you know, it's cool. At least I can play the game. Turns out the same fucking disc is damaged. Oh, Dragoon. I love the system in Dragoon. The way you had, like, you know, you could set up certain combos that had timed button hits and use that to build combos. Some of them did extra damage, some of them built up your, your Dragoon meter. And then once you were Dragoon, you could use, like, magic or special, you know, like, overdrive type attacks. 
which most of the time was awesome, but there were some enemies that actually... Some enemies that actually had a resistance to those, so then you were better off trying to use a loadout that, um, you know, favored uh, standard combat as opposed to the, like, super magic combat. Uh, the fact that potions... Uh, They didn't restore a set amount of health. They restored a percentage of your health. It's a really popular RPG, and as far as I know, they own all the rights. Yeah, but Sony's kind of bastards when it comes to some of their material. Like... There's sneakers. It's one of the reasons why I'm concerned about a remake for this thing ever happening. Not a remake, a sequel. Sorry, a sequel. Because Insomniac had talked about a sequel before, but now Insomniac is owned by Sony, and it's like, they're going, well, we want to focus on more things like Spider-Man. And shit, if they ever do make a sequel, it's not going to come to PC until, you know, the PlayStation 5 is reaching the end of its life cycle. We know we know how uh, how much gatekeeping they've done regarding like um regarding uh crossplay in hopes of said in fairness so didn't sell very well did it. Um that's arguable like it had it wasn't a hit, but it had reasonable profits. It wasn't super well known, though. The advertising for it was almost non-existent. But, but. Perfect, me. I said, did you hear about the potential Mario remakes? I did. Look and underscore mason said I posted the video higher up in chat BDW at engineer underscore beagle. Look and underscore mason said a note if you missed the link. Oh uh, no, I didn't. I was busy playing. Give me give me a moment. Um Oh, I'll check it out real quick, like. Okay, so it looks it looks like this um, uses a combat system almost like um, what's his face from Final Fantasy VI. I like it though, and I get what you're talking about. Like turn-based uh, tournament fighter definitely makes sense. Jesus, I'm killing this drink way too fast.
how late in the game is all this uh, occurring? And uh, Purple Kimmy, yes, I also liked uh, Sunshine a lot. Uh, it felt a little goofy. Some of its uh, settings were a bit odd, but really fun game. And if they managed to patch a bunch of the bugs that it had, then cool. That is nice. Okay. I am about to do something, if I have this correct, that will probably amount to a lot of bullshit. But if it doesn't, then... Uh, then maybe this can build some momentum. I don't know. You did not, but that is one that I already knew. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <sighs> I'm waiting on something. My internet is being slow, so pardon me. Oh, for crying out loud. What is going wrong here? Nope, not that, not that. Oh my god, my browser is losing its mind. that okay that worked let's try that okay, that worked Please keep working. Please keep working. Yes. Yes.
Oh crap. So just to verify, that base address says discoverwe.com, yes? I want to make sure I'm not too drunk to read that. Discover your... Discover W-E-E-E? -E -E. No, two E's. Discover W-E-E.com? Forget the Asternophiles bit, is that correct? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? <clears throat> Has everyone gone on hiatus? The URL in the smartphone number nine message um, dude, y'all seen the water bear, cause it's five in space, blah, blah, blah. And the next message, discover we online hidden potential and purpose for external files on the horizon. Some smart people say indubitably, and then it has a web address, discover we.com slash extremophiles, the base URL just to confirm is discover w e -E com. Is that correct? Perfect. Hold on, hold on. Don't 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 go yet just yet. For for don't don't go just yet. I'm doing something. I'm doing something. You're gonna appreciate that. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Just, just a couple more minutes. Oh my God, 
this is becoming frustrating. This is awful. I don't know why this is not working right now. Doesn't matter. Okay. So that website, discoverwe.com. Guess who now owns it? Any game publisher, if they're going to put their URL, a URL in their game, should purchase that domain. Sorry, Sony. Discoverwe.com is now property of Engineer Diesel. I'll change it later to point to my uh, Twitch channel. And, um, yeah, that's everything that I was doing right now. When I was typing out on the keyboard, I was going to my, uh, my web provider. I purchased the domain name for the next two, three years. The next thing I'm going to do is have it point to my Twitch channel, and then after that I'm going to build a website shitting on Sony until they commission Insomniac to build a sequel to Sunset Overdrive. And release it on PC in addition to PlayStation. How much difference is this going to make? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'm doing it anyway. Because I don't like that sort of, you know, bullshit. They'll make more money anyway. Oh my god! <coughs> Le Commissant. This, the, the, the URL under the smartphones here, was it number nine? Uh, discoverwe.com. I just purchased that URL. Because when a game dev is going to put a website in their game, they should, you know, use that. But they didn't. And it's gone unused this entire time for the past six years. But now here we are in April of 2020. And it's property of Engineer Diesel. Within the next few days, I'm going to have it pointing to my Twitch channel. But shortly after that... I'm going to make it, within the next few days, I'm going to make it a website, Trash Talking Sony. And it's going to stay that way until they make a sequel to Sunset Overdrive and make it for sale to both PlayStation and PC. I mean, they'll make more, more money in the long run if they do that, right? Only... Uh, only if it builds momentum. I mean, the likelihood that, you know, anybody's going to see this is, like, next to null. But I'm doing it anyway because I like this game a lot. For just playing it in such a short time, I want more. And the fact that it has not been taken advantage of is fucking bullshit. So I own it now. And as long as I keep paying per year, I will continue to own it. Until 
Sony does what I want, or they pay me however much, and then maybe I can fund the game myself. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, but I want this thing to happen. It's not a big ask. For them, it's not a big ask. I mean, again, PlayStation and PC released on both. They'll make more money in the long run. All I'm asking them to do is make more money for themselves. How, how hard is that? Come on now. Anyway, I really need to pee. So I'm going to grab a smoke while I'm up. Uh, welcome back, Lacan. Sorry. Perfect, perfect. <coughs> Lacan, you run your errand. Purple Kemi, you have yourself a good night. Uh, hope you get some rest. And, um... Hey, once I get this thing up and running, I will, uh... I'll let you know. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, Sony takes some notice because this shit deserves a lot more. A lot more. I really wanted to point it to my channel, like, right now, but the, the site is acting up. It's, it's not adjusting, so it'll, it'll take a little time, but it'll happen. Anyway, BRB.